Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a special interview for the Fordham Women's Basketball pregame Zoom. I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Thomas Aiello, but today we are here mainly to welcome a very special guest that is a member of your Rams, Miranda Nyborg, sophomore, shot-blocking extraordinaire. It's great to have you on and to get to chat after that last win. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. It's it's our pleasure. Um, I, I have to start off and, you know, just as the same way that we so closely cover you guys, we, we also try to get a sense of like um, how the team like feels and how you guys, you know, like as we, we go to your practices and yeah. we see you guys have great chemistry. Well, nobody could predict how tough it has been this season with all of these COVID interruptions and pauses in the season. We've talked to some of your coaches and she says, you guys are handling this like superstars. I wanted to get your take as a player on how this has been with all these interruptions, what kind of challenges this has presented for you guys, all of the above. Also last year, like, I feel like way worse. Like we'd go weeks on end without playing games, like constantly getting um, cancellations and stuff like that. I feel like this year we've been, had a few couple in a row, but I feel like it gave us some time to really like get ourselves together. We had some new scheduled games and I think like our team's really good with adversity. I think we've been faced with a lot of that um, the past couple of years. So I think like we respond to it pretty well. So we just, we're trying to stay focused and look forward to our like next challenge and stay together. Absolutely. Miranda, I guess I'll follow up a little bit with what Chris has said. One of the big challenges this year for you guys has been, um, I would say the fourth quarter, and I hate to keep bringing this up, but um, what has been some of the Get things? Get right Coach into gave... it, Thomas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, look, you know what? Yeah. I mean, um, well, what is one of the things Coach Gately has really stressed to you guys in latest in the latest practices about the fourth quarter and things she wants you guys to work on? Yeah. So um, we've been trying to focus on playing a full forty recently. That's been our main goal. I think it's coming down to like details and discipline on defense and making sure you run our offense with a good pace and just doing what we did in the first half to get us successful and continuing to stay disciplined throughout the second half. Um, If we just continue just to follow what coach says and stay disciplined and focus on our scout and play our personnel the correct way and do the little things right, I think we'll be able to put a full four together. I think we're getting closer every single game, like we're getting a little bit closer, which is a good thing. We're moving in the right direction. So we just got to finally lock in and get those details right and put the full 40 together. I love that. I love the mindset of the full yeah. 40. I, I mean, so many of my personal favorite basketball coaches that I've watched do interviews or spoken to personally over the years stress the importance of playing every single minute, like it's the last minute of the game. Right. And I just think that matches up so perfectly with someone like Coach Gately, who is such a, just such a great coach when it comes to putting yeah. attention to detail, getting you guys really passionate about those details as well. You know, players like you, even Sarah, like you guys are so into your defensive details and, and everything like that. I wanted to ask next um, in regards to, you know, we talked about how you guys have handled a lot of adversity. We know you guys are a great team in regards to all that adversity you've handled. Coach Gately has talked to us a lot about uh, just the great chemistry you guys have. I know this is your, (laughs) you know, you're an underclassman. You're not one of the veterans, but I wanted to, we asked Meg, you know, kind of who she mentored or mentors currently. I wanted to ask you the reverse question, you know, as a freshman, as part of developing that chemistry, what veterans on the the Rams did you have? Or even right now, who's your vet? Right. Um, Well, I have Kiki and Meg, obviously. They are always pushing me, trying to make me better. In practice, we're always going at each other, which is super helpful. And I think they're not afraid to tell me what I need to get better at, but I also have been learning like throughout the years that like I can also help push them too so like having someone like them to look up to where each of them are a little bit different with what they like to do but both bring a lot of like great information to help me grow and like even as a like as a leader or on the court off the court like they both have been really helpful that's awesome that you have yeah. that mutually beneficial relationship with them and trust me we watch you guys practice and we see that go specific at trio <laughs> go at it and drill yeah Yeah, Chris is my, uh, I guess, my mentee, if you will. Um, (laughs) You knew that was coming. Um, But Miranda, I guess I'll jump off of uh, what Chris said a little bit here. You've been put recently in really high intense spots, if you will. Coach Gately, especially at Dayton, really trusted you to pull out a lot of minutes in that second half. And you had a big and one play 
in the last game against St. Joe's, you were put in an interesting spot and you got that third quarter route going and you guys just sort of took off from there. How does that, I guess, make you feel as a player? And what is that a testament as to how you've been working in practice and in the game? Yeah, well, I think our coaches put us in really great positions to be successful. Like um, I having the belief from the coaches and especially Coach Gately trusting me like in these situations is not only helping like my confidence grow, but it's helping me grow as a person and as a player. So having her being able to put me into these situations and being able to learn as I go and just really focus in these details is something I think is going to help me later on, and especially as my career continues to grow. So I think knowing that the coaches believe in me helps my confidence a lot. And it's like really something special. Yeah. That's awesome. We've, we've, yeah. again, I mentioned earlier, we talked to Meg and I asked her, you know, we hear the coaches all the time telling her to keep shooting, telling her yeah. and that like, it's just so clear that the coaches have faith in you guys as players, but also as people like right. to be hardworking and to, to really care. And it's just, it's, it's a great basketball environment in my yeah, opinion. Definitely. I, I love it. I mentioned at the top of the show, I think my favorite attribute of yours, if it's not obvious, the shot blocking, I wanted to ask, speaking of practice, uh, what is it, you know, you, sp- you talked about, you know, Kiki, obviously she's someone who helps a lot with shot blocking, I yeah. would guess, but what are some kind of focuses for you? Are you someone who like really specifically works on timing? Are you, you know, I've, I was um, just curious as to your process. I think like our philosophy on our team is like, we're not a shot blocking team. We're really disciplined, um, keeping our arms straight up and breaking the plane. I think there's just certain times when I can tell, like if, especially if I have a guard, I have more length, I feel like, and I can time it just right. Sometimes I do hit the arm a little bit and get called for the foul, which I'm not supposed to be doing. But um, I think just trying to stay disciplined and knowing when I can go for those blocks or when I need to make sure I keep my arm straight up and not break the plane. Absolutely. I love how, I love how you were just like, you know, sometimes I, I foul the player, just very casually admitting. Right. I think that's great. Um, <laughs> what has been, now that we're on that, what has been the biggest part of your confidence? What has really come out of, I guess, everyone around you to say, hey, Miranda, she can play and she can help us win. How does that make you feel and how does that help your confidence grow? Yeah, that definitely helps my confidence. I feel like the biggest jump from like my freshman and my sophomore year is my confidence and like knowing that I can keep people in front and like I could play defense and I can rebound. I think that's something that I struggled with my freshman year was just those kind of like little intangible things that like will help me get more minutes by like focusing in on them. So I think now that I've like switched my focus and really just focused on doing all the little things to help everyone around me be more successful. I think it's not only helped me be more confident, but like having that trust from the coaches and the trust from the girls around me just really helps me continue my confidence and help me just get a little bit better. That's great to hear. It's awesome that you are so open, like Thomas mentioned about, you know, even like I was, I hate to say this, but to call them like, you know, little faults in the fouls to happen during games, because uh, you know, the phrase, you know, you're smarter. If you know, you don't know, like being willing to know what you need to work on just means that you are right on track to, to improving in all the right ways. So many amazing teammates that like, they're always going to be there for you no matter what you need. So like whether it's them giving you a little smack on the butt, trying to pick you up or just trying to tell you to hold you accountable type of thing. I feel like our team's like extremely helpful with that. And it really helps. Now, I guess final question, at least for me, Miranda, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Who is your favorite teammate and why? Uh Oh, (laughs) okay. So I think I'm going to have to go with Tilly because we are the only two left in our class. Um, so we got to hold it together down for each other for the sophomores. So I think I got to go with her. <laughs> that's, that's a good answer. Yeah. Love it. I have one more quick question myself as well. And it is similar to the, the block, the, you know, the question with the blocking, but, but about another, uh, even I would say coach Gately would say this is a more fun aspect of the game. I don't know if I'd agree, but I'll never <laughs> question her rebounding. Um, I, I wanted to get, your take on especially you know given who your mentors are in the team's right. two top board collectors yes. uh, what you think not just that you've learned from them but how you think you can help this team especially as a rebounder I mean everyone knows as you mentioned you have good length when you switch on the guards and it's you're, you're just going to be in spots to get rebounds how have you worked with people on that what are your thoughts on helping the team as a rebounder etc cetera, etc cetera? 
Yeah, well, I obviously have pretty big shoes to fill. Um, Meg and Kiki are great rebounders and <laughs> really good at attacking the boards and especially on defense, just owning it and finishing the possession. Um, I think like something like defense or rebounding is just like effort and we go a lot over it in practice. It's just like doing all the little things right and putting in that extra effort, whether it's crashing offensively or making sure we're boxing out and securing that rebound defensively to finish the possession. So I think just like kind of locking in on those little details and obviously like Kiki and Meg, amazing rebounders. We have a lot of great rebounders on our team. So just like consistently crashing because if everyone's focusing on what they're doing, like it's going to be easier for me to get extra possessions for our team or even on defense, like making sure they don't get any second chances. Absolutely. That's part of that full 40 that you were talking right. about earlier. So nice to see it all come together and right. so nice to have the chance to chat with you today, Miranda. Thank you for coming on. I hope our viewers have enjoyed here on the pregame show and good luck to you in your future practices and games. Sophomore Miranda Nyborg, thank you again for joining. Thank you the show. guys.